Ben, welcome to Charlton Athletic. How does it feel to, to be here as our new manager? Thank you. Uh, it feels fantastic. Really pleased to be here and uh, I'm really excited. Uh, can't wait to get going. What is it about this club that, that appealed to you? Why, why was this a, a good option for you to come and, and join this cause? Huge appeal, to be honest. Um, you know, it's a, it's a massive football club, both in terms of history and tradition, but just as importantly in terms of potential um, and scope moving forward. So, uh, as I say, it's a huge football club. I think it's one that uh, has got enormous, enormous potential and we can, we can really push forward together as a club. We've all seen the, um, the, the stats that, that Swindon managed to achieve last season, the um, top of the average possession, shots, shots on target, all that sort of stuff. Um, impressive attacking numbers, I think we can all agree. How do you envisage Charlton playing, your Charlton team, with the philosophy for them playing out there at the Valley? Attacking, that, that's what I believe in, that's how I think football should be played. Uh, we were looking to do that from, from day one, uh, both at home and away. You know, there'd be no differentiation in terms of how we prepare how we will play, it will be consistent and we want to attack, you know, we want to have the ball as much as possible, create chances, score goals and be on the front foot, play with lots of energy without the ball. Um, you know, I want the team to be positive, be confident uh, and I want the fans to enjoy coming to watch us play. Now you signed a three year contract here at the Valley, the owner's put his faith in you um, with that length of contract. Obviously the goal is for this club is to get back where we all think it belongs I and mean, what are you hoping to achieve during that time? I think the important thing is to progress the club as much as possible during that, during that period. Um, first step is to create an identity and a way of playing um, that we want at this football club. We want that to be consistent through, through all the teams um, and then to progress as much as possible. You know, we want to try and get promoted certainly back into the championship. Um, but it's also important that we're building around that and putting strong structures in place that make this a, a more sustainable football club and a, and a football club that's on a very strong footing all the time. It's well documented that we have got a strong academy here, plenty of players coming through, plenty of players representing a first team at the moment who have come through, um, developing players as we always have. How important is the strength of, of a club like this with, with an academy like ours for what you want to do and how you want to work? Because I know you you've certainly have a, have a good history of bringing through young players as well. That, that was a really big attraction for me, the, the strength of the academy and the size of the academy here at, here at Charlton Athletic because if you can develop your own players with the affinity they've got to the local area and the affinity they've got to the football club, then it's fantastic. And um, I know Steve Avery well from, from my time in academy football and I'm sure he'll have a statue himself at Charlton one day for what he's done at this football club. But, you know, there's great talent here. It's a fantastic catchment area. It's an area I know well in South London and um, young players here that are good enough will get the opportunity to play. They need to be better than what we've, we've currently got in the first team. They need to prove that. But if they are good enough, they will play. Now, the owner, Thomas Sangard, he's talked about the, the philosophy that we want to build at this football club. And you've, you've spoken about that, the, the attacking style, and about how that, that develops throughout the age groups. But how important is that to, to build from, you know, even from your under 11s, under 12s, all the way through to the first team? How important is it to build that philosophy to, to build what we want to achieve here as a football club? I think if you want to be successful in the long term, it's hugely important and you have to stick with it. You know, it's a process that you have to believe in and you have to maintain um, through good times and, and not so good times that, you know, you have to stick with it. And if there's a, a year or two where perhaps there isn't any academy players that have, have, have come through, stick with it, have that patience, have that belief in the process and create that identity that when people look at a, a Charlton team, they can see it straight away. They understand that's how they play. Um, that's the intensity in what they do. And it's very, very clear, regardless of, you know, if there's no badge on the shirt, you would still know it's a Charlton team. And if we can do that and we can create that identity, um, we can really build a successful football club here. So you, you join a recruitment group that includes, obviously, the owner, Thomas, Steve Gallen, Martin Sangard, um, as well as a team of scouts and analysts. There's obviously work to be done as far as recruitment goes this, this summer. Um, what is your role in recruitment as far as that team goes and, and adding to this squad? be a, a part of the process you know we all want the same thing we all want good players at this at this football club and we've had um, a, a lot of negotiations over the last couple of weeks and making sure that we're all happy with everything and we're all on the same page which we are um, so my role is to support that uh, make recommendations and try and get the best players possible for how we're going to play um, you know Thomas has been fantastic with that in terms of understanding what I want and like I say we're all on the same page we're going to use all of the tools available to us 
Um, but the bottom line is we want the best players possible um, that fit the style that we're going to play. How do you assess the, the current squad that we have here? Obviously, there's some players you, you do know well, someone like Ryan Innes, I know we were discussing earlier, you know from a young age. Um, I mean, how do you assess what you've got and, and, and what you, you need to add to, if that makes sense? I think really pleased with what's here. I think there's a really good nucleus to the squad. Uh, obviously, we need to add to that now. And um, we, we need players. It's, it's not just good players coming in. It's the right players, the players that fit what we want to do. Um, not just in terms of style of play, but in terms of character, in terms of attitude, um, in terms of the type of people they are. We want good people as well as good players. Um, but there's a good core here. I'm looking forward to meeting them and getting to work. And then obviously be working hard to, to add to that and get the best possible squad in place ahead of the new season. So the players will be back at the back end of, of next week, just for a bit of testing before the real work really starts the following week. Um, how much are you looking forward to, to getting over to the training ground, which will be a new look training ground as well, let's not forget. New look team, new look manager, new look training ground. You must be really excited to, to get going. Yeah, really excited. You know, uh, again, the training ground was a big attraction to, for the job. It's, it's a great training ground. There's been obviously work done over the summer. Um, and it, it, it's a club with so much potential moving forwards. Like I said, great history and tradition. Um, I, you know, I remember growing up the years in the, in the Premier League with, with Charlton Athletic and we've got that potential now to move forwards and, and really attack this season and, and enjoy it. And obviously we'll be going to Spain um, in a couple of weeks time. Always a really important part of the summer, isn't it, to, for that you know, bit of bonding and, and squad building. I mean, again, how much are you looking forward to that and, and how vital is that ahead of a new season to, to get that experience of going away together and, and to build something fresh? Really important on both fronts. I mean, first and foremost, it'll be hard work. You know, the players will be working. Um, but also that, that time together where you're with each other 24-7 is important and you're building those relationships. And to be successful on the pitch, I think you have to have that. I don't think you can be successful as a team if you haven't got that culture, that environment and that togetherness. That will be so important during pre-season and beyond. And if we can get that right on top of the way we will play and how we will work on a day-to-day -day basis, that will be the basis of our success.